Hey there folks, today I am bringing you a doubles battle against Deathwrecker, who challenged me using that nifty form that I always link to at the ends of my battles. Um, so you'll notice in this video that uh, the it looks kind of fuzzy. Um, the video quality has degraded. It's actually kind of ironic because the reason that it looks this way is because I was trying to improve the video quality. You'll notice that uh, the animations should be less choppy. So I'm trying to decide which is more important, the clarity on the freezed frames or the not choppiness. Um, yeah, so I figured out something in the settings. Anyway, so doubles battle. Uh, he leads off with a Meow Stick and a Charizard, and I'm like, I'm guessing Charizard Y. I feel like Charizard X is more common in singles, Y more common in doubles. Um, he withdraws Charizard, whatever Charizard it is, it is because I do have um, Rotom Wash, uh, so you know, it could do massive damage to it no matter what. So I go ahead and fake out, I went ahead and faked out Charizard Y because it is kind of a massive threat. Um, as he goes for the Swagger, uh, with his Meow Stick. I was actually expecting the fake out, and actually wasn't expecting to pull off the fake out against his charge out because I was figuring he'd fake out um, my him on top, although I'm not actually sure why I thought that. But anyway, uh, yeah, Swagger is going to be annoying. I mean, Hitachi Koma does not have like any uh, it doesn't have any attack investment, and I think it actually has zero uh, attack IVs, um, specifically for the case of Swagger. Uh, you know, when you're breeding, like, uh, having 31 attack doesn't do you any good. Having zero attack does you a little bit of good. So anyway, I go ahead and Volt Switch out um, after, and so look like I break the confusion there, and that's nice. Does a little bit of damage to that Meow Stick. Uh, I have my... Um, and so I send out Scissor here. I figure this should be a fairly good matchup. Among Us goes for the Spore. I uh, predicted that really well. Uh, and now he's going to withdraw Meow Stick. Uh, and uh, Charizard is going to be right back out. So that's not great. Uh, Among Us goes ahead and protects. Uh, he's obviously trying to do some stalling. And, you know, I respect that. And, you know, you protect is a really good move in, in doubles. Because you can scout out what your opponent is doing. So Bug Bite against Charizard isn't going to do it very much at all. Um, even, yeah, I mean, yeah, so I go for the Shadow Claw, it gets a crit, whatever, um, you know, okay, actually that crit mattered and was kind of a big deal. So I go out and into Char uh, Tachikoma because I figure he might go for the Fire Blast or whatever, maybe it's a Flare Blitz. Turns out it is Charizard Y, now anything that he's going to attack with is going to be Sun Boosted, um, but I figure, you know, I didn't want to switch out just in case he was going to do it for some sort of Protect or something, and, you know, Scissor's a great Pokemon to have on this team, but I just had to do something. So I went for the Faint, thinking that he'd Protect, but I was really expecting a Protect, and I was actually kind of hoping that that would take him out, but it didn't. I was so close. And yeah, the Rage Powder here, this was an interesting move. So he went for the Rage Powder, but Faint goes first, so that's nice. Uh, so Charizard survived on such a smidgen of health, uh, takes out Rico. I think I actually counted, and I think zero investment uh, Charizard regular would have died, and possibly zero investment Charizard Y would have died, but, you know, he probably has some sort of HP investment, so it didn't really work out for me, but I did, you know, I did get him fairly low, so that's nice. I go out into Fupa Loop here, uh, because, um, you know, he could have a Solar Beam, and Solar Beam would be super effective, but I do have the Assault Vest, and that's nice. So, he goes for the Double Protect here, both of his Pokemon Protect, uh, but it doesn't really mean much to me. I went for the Ice Shard, just to try to get that Charizard. It's at so low health, it's going to die, it's not really going to be a problem. Uh, so I'm looking at his team now, and I'm thinking, okay, who's going to benefit from the sun? Is he going to switch this guy out? Is he going to try to set up a sun sweep? And I guess he's got the Heliolisk, and Heli Heliolisk can be a sun sweeper, um, but I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to come Meow Stick here. Uh, Poop Loop goes for the Ice Shard, it's not going to do too much against Meow Stick, uh, and it's actually going to activate my opponent's Citrus Berry. You know, in, so VGC is one thing, but in 6v6, doubles, I really think that you're probably better off running leftovers. Um, folks in the audience can back me up on whether that's true or not. Among Us goes ahead and goes for Spore here, I'm like, no! My Fupalub is now put to sleep, that's not great. But you know what, if someone has to be put to sleep, it's a pretty bulky Pokemon, and I'm thinking as long as he doesn't send in a threat to kill it, I sh you know, maybe there's a chance I'll wake up in time. But I decided I'm going to go ahead and withdraw uh, Fuku Loop now and go out into Kira because, you know, he can't put anything else to sleep, which is nice. Um, he has to go for Swagger. Uh, it keeps targeting Rotom Wash. Again, not a physical attacker. It doesn't really make sense for 
I, you know, to put it to confuse it and raise its attack like that, it's not going to be doing too much damage to it. Tachikoma's confused. Tachikoma goes for discharge. Uh, I love, I love Kira having telepathy on the switch. I mean, yeah, what, then a mega evolves and then it has um, pixelate, but before it does that, it's just amazing. It's just amazing that it has the telepathy, and that means you can go for earthquake, you can go for discharge, and it's fine. It's totally fine. Among Us goes for Giga Drain. Uh, Kira is going to take that just fine. Uh, I, I don't. I'm trying to remember this, the uh, the spread I'm running. I think it's 252 HP, 252 special attack, um, uh, modest nature. So anyway, withdraw Rotom. I uh, just straight up withdraw. Don't go there for the vault switch. Figure uh, my luck has paid off as much as it's going to. Uh, so I sent out Cosmic F. Uh, you know he could go for the psychic, but I honestly think I can take that okay because, um, you know, Meowstic isn't the strongest of attackers. He goes out into Heliolisk, and I'm thinking, oh man, I really should have gone for the, the uh, Hyper Voice here, but really, I saw on his, I saw that Among Us on his team, and I just wanted it dead. So instead of going for the um, the Hyper Voice, which would have KO'd uh, his Heliolisk, Heliolisk for sure, I go for the Psychic uh, and uh, take out the Among Us. So Among Us got fully paralyzed, I guess it was going for the Protect, maybe, I, why, why would it go for Rage Power? Powder, probably wouldn't go for Rage Powder, but I do get the KO, and that's nice. So now I'm thinking, okay, now I get a really easy KO against, um... Oh, he sent out Garchomp, and I'm like, why would you send out Garchomp against a fairy who's got Pixelate Hyper Voice? I mean, maybe he doesn't know that I have Pixelate Hyper Voice, but why would I have anything else except for Pixelate Hyper Voice? So he goes for Protect. Okay, so you're going to save your Garchomp for one more turn. Is that really going to help you out? Really? Uh, I go for the Fake Out and just take out Meowstic. Uh, and so that's a dead Meowstic. Don't have to worry about it. That's nice. And now we're going to see who is going to come next. So, out's going to come Mamoswine. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Uh, I calc I was like, how much would a, um, would a, an Ice Shard do? Like, even if he's banded, I calc that I can survive the Ice Shard. So here comes the Ice Shard. I'm like, I can survive that. It's just fine. And then I get... I died to a crit, and that crit totally mattered. I'm telling you, folks, the the calc is up in the annotations. Uh, that crit mattered. I would, and had had he not gotten the crit, I would have taken out Garchomp. Uh, and that just makes me so sad. It makes me so incredibly, incredibly sad. Uh, so yeah, now there's some switching going on, and I, I at this point I'm like. GG. This is this is it. I, there's no way I can win this. I can't believe you took out my Gardevoir. My Gardevoir, who's like a great counter for like half of your team, dies. And it's like, what the hell? So I take out Charizard with a close combat. Um, not very effective, right? But you know, it, it got the KO, and that's all that matters. Um, and Hitmontop is still alive, and will be alive for another day. Uh, Trilodon goes for the Will-O-Wisp against Garchomp, and so at least I figure it'll be somewhat crippled. Uh, so Garchomp gets burned, but he has the Lumberry. Uh, apparently lots of Garchomps are running Lumberry in doubles. Okay, um, you know, I, these single-use items I just don't think are, I mean, I guess doubles is a more offensive tier than singles, but even so, I just, I just have an innate distaste for single-use items. So I withdraw Cosmic F here because I don't want it to die to, um, an easy attack from, like, Garchomp or something. Um, so Garchomp goes for the Dragon Claw, and Fubaloop can take that. Fubaloop can take that thanks to its massive defense. Um, so yeah, here comes the Icicle Crash. Now here's the story, why the hell didn't I switch out Treedledum? I calc that it could survive, and, I, and it was like 50% health, and I was like, that's incredible, I didn't realize Trevenant was that bulky. It's not what happened, I'm just ashamed to admit, is that I had done the calc at level 50 for some other Pokemon, and I switched the Pokemon to, um, to Treedledum and forgot to set Treedledum's level to 50, and so I was calcula calculating it as if uh, I was a level 50 Mamoswine attacking a level 100 uh, Trevenant, so yeah, screwed up that calc really bad. Uh, Dragon Claw gonna hit Cosmic F, but it's at minus one, so it's fine. Mamoswine got flinched, and that's fine. Fumbaloob, I'm just hoping, is going to wake up. Please, please wake up, I go. Please, please. So I'm switching out Cosmic F because I just need to get these Pokemon's um, special, no, that's right, physical attack low. And so I send out Tachikoma, I figure Tachikoma should be fine. Garchomp won for Protect anyway. Uh, and yeah, this is, this seems like a good situation for me. Fubalub is still sleeping! I'm like, come on, just wake up, wake up already! It's been too long. Now, uh, here comes the Icicle Crash. 
I'm hoping it wasn't from Mammoth Swine, and it wasn't from Mammoth Swine, although, actually, Ma Mammoth Swine, uh, de facto res resists it? Resists? Yes. Resists it. No. Yes, re resist it. I'm sorry. Yes, it resists it because uh, it would ordinarily be uh, regularly effective, but thanks to thick fat, it's a, it's lowered. So Boobaloo wakes up here. I'm like, yay! Yay! Go for the ice shard. Hit the guard chomp. Guard chomp survives on a little bit. And I'm like, dude, it was 4x effective. Come on! So ice shard just really just doesn't have isn't that great of an attack. So I go for the hydro pump here, and it hits Heliolisk. And I'm glad it wasn't dry skin. Well, why would it be dry skin Heliolus on a Sun team? That would be dumb. That would be really, really dumb. So it's solar power. I mean, that's, I guess, solar power. I didn't actually see, um... Was it actually out for a full turn in the Sun at all? Um, because, you know, that's when it takes damage from solar power. Uh, yeah, so Helios here goes for Hyper Beam. I'm like, what the hell? Hyper Beam? Who uses Hyper Beam? But it gives him the KO, so I uh, can and you know, his Hillisk at this point was useless, so in this case it worked out, and I guess maybe it's four move slot syndrome. Anyway, I go for the Earthquake. Really, he should have hit my Mammoth Swine. That would have been the smarter move, that was the bigger threat. IMO. But I get I take out the Heliosk with a super effective Earthquake, and his uh, Mammoth Swine isn't doing too hot either. So out now is gonna come Guard Jump Guard Jump at such a low level. I go out into Cosmic F going to lower both of his Pokemon's attack. So it's two versus two. We're both down to our last Pokemon. I'm thinking, I might have this game in the bag. I'm not quite sure. You know, yes, he is banded, and yes, he runs freaking Protect on everything. Um, so I go for the Fake Out against Mamoswine because Mamoswine is banded. It's not going to go for the Protect. I do go for the Ice Shard here. I was hoping to pick him off one by one. Um, but now, you know, the best he can do is go for the double protect, so that's 50% chance is really screwing me over. So, uh, Garchomp goes for the double protect, but it fails. Uh, I go for the wide guard in case, like, he's gonna go for Earthquake. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should have done something else. Mamoswine goes for the Ice Shard. It's going to hit Fubaloop, but Fubaloop can take that because, as I said, it resists it. Uh, so Garchomp is going to die to an Ice Shard, and now he's only got one Pokemon left. That Pokemon is locked into a super duper weak Ice Shard, and I have won this match because he can only take it, take out one of us. The other one survives, and the other one takes him out. So I have super power on Mamoswine, or you know, just really any attack on Mamoswine. I have, um, yeah, I go for the super power, but I also had close combat on um, Hitmontop. So. Either way, this man one was dead, and I have won the battle! I cannot believe I pulled this battle out! When I lost uh, Gardevoir, I really thought that was GG. I really did not see winning this. I am so glad I did, though. Uh, anyway, yes. So, Deathwrecker. Great game. Uh, folks, if you want to battle me, just uh, fill out the form in the link to in the description. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.